was a lot of foam. Okay. So, the first question is from Merge. And Merge asked this question a while ago. I think they have um, a Superman logo as their little like profile picture. I see them pop up on other true crime ASM artists um, videos too. So Merge asks, what do you do to relax? So sometimes it is very hard for me to relax, but when I'm able to relax, big thing I do is put on my sound Eucalyptus. 
Iselin Erickson. Iselin Erickson. Why did you move away from Maine and move to Kentucky, Colorado, in the Pacific Northwest? So, I've talked about this before, so I'll make it pretty brief, but also... I've been kind of tossing around whether or not I want to talk about, like, kind of the underlying real reason, and I feel like I know you guys, so I'm going to be honest with you. So, like, the logical re- logical reasons that I moved around so much was like, okay, so I moved from Maine, my home state, to Boston to go to school. Um, I transferred schools from a small town Massachusetts to Boston. Then I graduated. I moved back to Maine. You know, people do that. They move back to their hometown. I went back to school to be a teacher and then um, decided to move abroad. I worked in Vietnam for two years as a teacher. Got homesick. Moved home. But didn't actually move home. I moved to where my brother was living in Colorado. And this is when things get a little weird. But, um, on my way out to Colorado, I stopped to visit my friend from college, and I met his brother. Then his brother and I, like, fell in love, (laughs) quote-unquote. So he moved out to Colorado with me, and then we decided to move back to Kentucky, where he was from. And then we broke up, and then I ended up with another guy. And I stayed there for four years, and then we broke up, so I moved out to the Pacific Northwest to live by my brother again, try to re, uh, recuperate from that whirlwind of insanity that was my 20s. So, kind of the real reason, not the real reason, but I think I was really just trying to run away from things that had happened in my life, and I realized that you can't really do that because kind of no matter where you go, there you are, you know what I mean? Like, you can move halfway across the world, but you're coming with you, you know what I mean? (laughs) So, a lot of it had to do with some mental health, um, things that I had to deal with and some kind of dramatic events in my past that I needed to deal with that I wasn't dealing with, that I was just kind of running away from. Um, and that's kind of as far as I'll go into that someday. Maybe I'll do a video about like mental health or my mental health kind of journey. I feel like I'm in like a really good place right now and it took a while to get here and I think a lot of people go through that, or, or when they're in the bad place, they don't know that the good place is coming, you know what I mean? So, let me know if you'd be interested in hearing something like that, or, I don't know, someday. Okay, Cicely Byberg says, I love your videos, do you like to travel, and have you been traveling abroad? So, I love to travel, um, of course, before... COVID and after COVID, I, I will be traveling again, I hope. Um, abroad, traveling abroad, I, I lived in Vietnam for two years, like I said, and then I've been to Sweden, I went to Sweden for like this summer camp 
you lost your stuffing. I'm going to sew you back up. And I just love that. I'm going to link these all down below. Um, you guys know I love Maddie Dub ASMR. She just did 2,000 subscribers. I did a collaboration with her. Um, not as many of you watched it, but I think that's because you're used to my, like, true crime videos. We did, like, a cool tarot card, uh, collaboration. It was really awesome. She's super sweet, and she tries really hard, and she does a great job. I love her whisper, and she, uh, has a crazy school schedule, but still gets all of her videos done. Wildflower ASMR. She's fairly new, but she has, like, an awesome whisper and a great aura, just, like, energy, super sweet. Paige ASMR. Just got a new microphone. She does some true crime stuff, some, like, life stuff, some hauls. Uh, I really like her voice a lot. And then true crime whispers was kind of the first true crime ASMR artist that really gave me a push. She was like, you're doing a good job. And I was like, oh my god, thank you. So I appreciate her a lot. She has a cool, um, she has a cool energy, cool vibe. And I love her accent. I think she's Canadian. Okay, moving on. This is from Landry Monteith. Is Sammy your real name? Let's take a drink. I kind of debated back and forth whether or not I should answer this question. When I first started my channel, I was really nervous about um, telling you guys my real name. So I was just like, uh, Sammy, it's not my real name. My real name is Sarah. Okay, there you go. Um, this next question is from Paul Lamont is so supportive and always comments and I absolutely appreciate her. She says, do you think it is more nature or nurture with the psychopaths that start cults or commit crimes? Do you think they were born wired that way or their upbringing and treatment has molded them? Wow, that is a question that I've been asking myself since like seventh grade. <laughs> this kind of stuff is fascinating to me, and if I had the stomach for it, I would be a psychologist and study it. Um, I don't think it is 100% either or. I think it is. Um, I, my gut says that it's mostly nurture and a little bit nature. I think it's mostly how you're brought up, what happens to you, but also they've done studies where intergenerational trauma exists, which would mean that there's trauma like in your DNA, so that's kind of nature, right? And then, of course, most, I think most people who commit heinous crimes and start cults that are damaging are either narcissists, sociopaths, psychopaths, something pathological along those lines, which is kind of in your DNA too, it's in your genetics, right? So, again, I'm going to stand by the fact that I think it is mostly nurture. I'd like to kind of do a whole video about that, and I'd also like to know what you guys think. All right, these are good questions, you guys. Joey Hetlich says, if Heather Feather has dark 
however you need to do that. Um, for me, it was therapy. I wanted to say, like, my biggest life lesson 